Welcome to the official D Money Games set review for Skullamance Academy. Um, I'm going to be going through each individual card, and it's going to be there's going to be a different video for each class, and also for the neutral cards as well. And we're going to be ranking them based on what you see at the top left of the screen. Five is broken slash always played. Four is very strong or typically played. Three is above average. Uh, slash played sometimes two is below average played a little bit and uh, one is bad or unplayable moving to the mage if anybody knows d money you know that uh, i do love me some mage i've been playing mage for like the past eight months uh almost exclusively and i've been destroying ladder with it all the day all, all the all the day and all the night people have been saying i'm the best mage in, in the whole entire world you know they're right but calm down guys calm down I don't want to upset anybody else, uh, but thank you. Um, yeah, so I am actually at first. At first, I was really not that thrilled with uh, what Mage was getting because I I wanted some more Reno Mage support. But at the same time, I've been playing Reno Mage for so long, and I kind of just want something new. And that's what they did. That's what Blizzard did. They they made like a whole new archetype. They made they kind of brought like Tempo Mage back with uh, with some spell damage as well. And I, after seeing it being played in the, uh, the live stream, the pre-release live stream or whatever, um, the card reveal live stream, I think it looks like a lot of fun and I'm excited to get my hands on these cards. So we're going to start it off with lab partner. First of all, he's super cute. Um, one mana, one, three, uh, spell damage plus one. I mean, one mana, one, three is freaking good and spell damage plus one. It's gonna be good with with spells, of course, but there's a lot of other cards that are getting revealed uh, or that were revealed for Mage that do synergize with spell damage, and we will get to those later. This is a five out of five card easily. Uh, this is auto include in any spell Mage, any tempo spell Mage, hundred percent. Cram session. That's something I definitely did not do in college. Uh, two mana. Draw one card, improved by spell damage. So if you have one spell damage, you draw two cards. If you have two spell damage, you draw three cards. Um, yeah, so a draw t draw one for two mana is not that great, but assuming you'll have at least one spell damage out, you're going to get your value, and it's going to be very good for keeping up the tempo, keeping up the spells in your, your hand, especially if you're running like Sorcerer's Apprentice. You reduce the cost of this. You reduce the cost of the cards you draw. Uh, seems really good. This card is a 4 out of 5 for me. I think it's very good. Next card we got here is Combustion. 3 mana spell. Deal 4 damage to a minion. Any excess damages both neighbors. Uh, yeah, this card's really, really strong. Uh, so, for example, for instance, uh, if you do... If there's a 2 health minion in the middle and you deal 2 damage to that, you, deal, you, you play the Combustion on that minion, it'll deal 2 damage to that minion and two damage to the uh the minions on the sides of it uh yeah really good card to help control the early game aggression from decks like demon hunter and hunter uh which is exactly what mage needed so yeah this card's very strong five out of five by any means uh that excess damage thing is just that's what makes the whole card it's fire brand three mana three four spell burst deal four damage randomly split among all enemy minions uh yeah so this card is really good you can compare it to a uh the flame waker card that mage used to have and uh the thing about flame waker was the flame waker could deal damage to your opponent's face and this one is just confined within the minions so that actually makes it a little worse but it also makes it a little better because depending on the situation most of the time you actually want to deal the damage to the minions so that you can start going face more often and uh while it is only a one time effect with the spell burst i think it's very strong and just by itself it's a three mana three four um i think it's a five out of five card okay next card we got here is mozaki the master duelist five mana three eight after you cast a spell gain spell damage plus one yeah that's a very unique effect and um if you're playing a tempo based spell based deck with Sorcerer's Apprentices, this card can get a little out of control. Um, and it'll even allow you to run maybe even cards like Arcane Explosion to deal a lot of damage to minions. Um, and just like a cheap AoE, I, th I think this card's very strong. 
the the more cards we saw at first glance when they first revealed it it didn't seem that strong but the support that they've given it it seems like it's going to be a staple in that deck and if you have a crap load of spell damage and then you play cram session and you draw a crap load of cards with sorcerer's apprentices and stuff it this card seems really nutty i'm gonna give it a five out of five the worm reaver it's a five mana three six spell burst summon two one three mana worms so if you're aware mana worm did used to be a one cost card and they nerfed it to two mana so you're actually getting nine mana worth of stats or worth of you're getting nine mana worth of cards for probably six mana which is good and the mana worms will scale which is very nice for you uh it just fits so well with uh with the tempo based uh tempo based spell mage deck this card has got to be a five out of five i i'm assuming you run two but even if you only run one the card is just so good brain freeze it looks like shrek on the cover there it's pretty interesting um but yeah one mana spell freeze a minion combo also deal three damage to it uh very strong one mana for three damage very strong one mana for a freeze is also like okay and uh, the fact that you're playing a tempo spell kind of mage, which is going to be casting a lot of spells like that and playing cheap spells, cheap cards in general. Uh, yeah, this card's a 5 out of 5 for me. Even if you just get the freeze effect off, it could still be pretty useful. Uh, freeze has been as proven to be a very good mechanic in the recent expansion with Frozen Shadow Weaver being played in a lot of decks. Uh, you don't get to freeze a character, which makes it a little worse, but... Yeah, I think uh, one mana for three damage and a freeze, super, super good. Evolving Missiles, one mana spell. Shoot three missiles at random enemy minions that transform them into ones that cost one less. This is an easy five out of five card. Devolve was an insane card when it was in the game. Just the ability to devolve minions or just even evolving minions to get rid of, just getting rid of their, their stats, their, their effects and everything. Sure, you can low roll and you can devolve something into something that's even better. But the odds of that are pretty low. And uh, especially with cards like Aug Merchants, like Guardian Aug Merchant giving shields to things. Uh, yeah, this is going to help out so much. And also with cards that are not targetable as well. Um, this is such a really, this is such a good tool for Mage for the early game. Uh, just for dealing with pesky minions, uh, especially from Demon Hunters. This card's a 5 out of 5. Primordial Studies. One mana spell. Discover a spell damage minion. Your next one cost one less. Um, yeah, so like I said uh, with some of the other review videos, all the studies cards look really good. Just the fact that your next one costs one less is a really big deal because it's not even the one that you get off of the studies card itself. It's just whenever you're playing a spell damage minion, it's going to be minus one cost. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it could just give you a turn one play. Also, if you get the, uh, if you discover the one mana card lab partner right there. Um, I think this card is an auto include. It's also just a cheap spell. So auto include in the spell damage, uh, tempo, spell, mage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this card is a five out of five. There's, there's no way. No way it's not. Wand Thief, it's a one mana one, two combo. Discover a mage spell. And it is also for rogue as well. Um, this card's interesting. I think this card's a lot better in Rogue. I think for Mage, it's okay. Um, I don't really see it being played too much in Mage, honestly. Uh, I, I, while I think it's good that you discover a spell, I mean, there's no guarantee that the spell you discover is really going to be playable. Um, if you're playing it in like a tempo, uh, a tempo spell mage, there's no guarantee it's going to be a, a low cost spell. And you're actually going to want it. And and the fact that you have to combo it out in order to get that effect. I think there's just better things to run for mage. So I'm going to give this card a 2. The next card is Trick Totem. At the end of your turn, cast a random spell that costs 3 or less. The 2 mana, 0, 3. Totem. Uh, yeah, this card... I It's so hard to judge a card like this because it's, it's such a random effect. Uh, the... Since it's a random spell that could literally be from any class, uh, you have no idea what the hell it is. So sometimes you get a one cost, sometimes you get a three cost, maybe you even get a zero cost spell. Um, is it going to benefit you? Is it going to benefit your opponent? We have no idea. It's kind of like a meme card, but you get value. 
Uh, like any card that gives you generates value for you most of the time is going to be a good card. Uh, I don't really see this as, as much of a, a thing in Mage, but uh, in Shaman, I could see it being a thing uh, in some kind of Totem Shaman deck. So for Mage, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. Potion of Illusion. 4 mana spell. Add 1-1 one, one copies of the minions of your minions to your hand. They cost 1. There's a lot of combos you can do with this deck. Uh, I mean, this this deck is going to be better with higher cost in minions, like probably like a Reno Mage deck. This card is super, super good for getting those super powerful effects into your hand. Uh, it does cost four, so you do have to pay a little bit of a cost there. But I mean, if you get stuff to stick, then this is going to create some scenarios that are, are pretty nutty. And uh, I, I don't know if this necessarily fits in a... Uh, a more aggressive version of mage but for a more control oriented deck i can see this card being very very good uh you could do uh, there's probably a lot of combos you could do with this deck with this card as well i'm gonna give this card a four out of five i think it's on the verge of being a five out of five i just have to see it first i have to see what kind of cards are going to combo with this to make it that five out of five jandis barov five mana two one which, I mean, those stats are awful, but, 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 but. Battlecry, summon two random five-cost minions. Secretly pick one that dies when it takes damage. This is super interesting. I, I like this effect a lot because it's really unique. Um, and summoning two random five-costs. Five-costs are typically not that great. I mean, it could technically summon itself. Um, five-cost cards are typically not the greatest, but... I haven't looked at all the five cost cards that are in this set, so maybe it does get better. Um, the secretly picking one that dies when it takes damage is is also interesting. You could play some mind games with your opponent here. So let's say you get a five five and like a three three, and your you your opponent thinks that you're gonna put the the secret thing on the three three, and then you secretly put it on the five five to make them like actually deal with. I think this is like a actually uh, this is a fun card and it does let you play mind games. It, it lets you play some tricks on your opponent and uh, I like it a lot. It's it's kind of like a secret inside of a a, a minion. Uh, it's it's really interesting. I'm gonna give this card a five out of five. I think typically you're gonna get a lot of value for this card and that little bit of secrecy. I I think it does help you out. Uh, next card, another legendary Ras Frost Whisper. 5 mana, 3, 6. At the end of your turn, uh, deal 1 damage to all enemies, improved by spell damage. So if you have 1 spell damage, it's going to be 2 damage to all enemies at the end of your turn, and so on. Uh, yeah, this card combos really well with all the spell damage stuff that we just saw, uh, especially with Mozaki. I mean, if you get off something crazy with that, uh, if, if Mozaki is somehow sticking and he has like plus 5 spell damage... <laughs> Cards a board clear. Um, it's also all enemies, so it's not even just minions. It's just uh, it's their character as well. Uh, yeah, so I mean, typically with just the one damage, it's it's like pretty good. Um, kind of similar to the uh, the Dreadlord from Warlock, the the four the five mana four five that dealt one damage to all enemy minions at the end of your turn. Um, but it can be improved, so I think this card is a five out of five. Uh, it's kind of close to like a four. You know, I'm gonna give this card a. I'm gonna give this card a four out of five. I think it's very good. Um, I don't think it's. I'm giving this card a four point five out of five. Damn it! I think it's on the verge of being broken. I just don't think it's at that level. I think it's very strong though, and I think it will typically be played. But I think there's situations where it's not even played. But we'll see. So overall, I like the direction that they're going with Mage. It's, it's a different direction. Uh, then we've seen in a while, uh, going to spell damage. I, I like it. It looked like a lot of fun when they played it during the stream, and I'm really excited to get my hands on it. I, I think it'll be very strong as well, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I think I think spell damage is actually going to be viable, and that might open us up to uh, that might make us relook at at other cards that maybe were overshadowed in the past. Uh, we might see Thalnos make an appearance into this deck as well. It is just a, a solid spell damage card, and uh, it does help you get that tempo, the, the draw that you need for, for this deck to work. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for what direction they're going here. I don't think Reno Mage is going to be that viable based on what we've seen, but maybe I just have to try it out. I'm not sure.
Of course, all these ratings are my own opinions, and uh, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear uh, what your opinions are on certain cards, what you think I may be underrated or overrated. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying out all these decks on stream on August 6th. That's when it drops. I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream. If you want my stream link, it is below in the description. I'll be doing a 24-hour stream with giveaways, with viewer games. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I hope you come by. And that is all. Peace out, guys.